Hi there, my name is Teresa Kaiser from TKNetMarketing.com and today I'm going to be showing you the exact things that a light box is, what it can do, and how you can implement it into using it into your Kalatu blog. So when you log into your Kalatu dashboard, what you're going to see, and you can also use light boxes for WordPress as well, I'm sure that the settings will be just a little bit different, but basically we're doing the same exact thing here as creating a pop-up. Okay, so um, if you're tired of WordPress and you want just something a little bit easier, you know what? Kalatu might be the thing and you can actually get the link uh, right below this video to get your very own Kalatu blog, save you a whole lot of setup time. So when you're in your Kalatu dashboard, you're going to go down to the, uh, here's dashboard, and then you're going to go down to the one that says Lightbox, and we're going to just click on it, we're going to go down to Add New, okay? Now before we even begin to start a Lightbox and just dig in and start building one, it's a very good idea for you to know exactly what they are, what they do, how they function, what you can and cannot do with them, and so forth, okay? So the very first thing is a light box is when you go to exit the page, it pops up in front of you and says, hey, wait, would you like to? Or look at me, I have this. Or maybe you want to show them a blog post. And we'll cover each of those uh, a little bit at a time uh, throughout the week of things that you could do with a light box, and this will be the feature of the week, okay? So you're going to name your light box, and this will show up in the top of the little light box when it pops up, okay? So you don't want to name it, you know, hey, jerk, look at my page. You know, you just want to say something like, um, you know, hey, wait before you go. Now, there's some settings before you begin that I want you to get familiar with and learn, okay? One of them is, this looks like a blog post, yes. But you're going to go under tools here, and there'll be a thing that says source code. And if you're given source code to paste from anywhere, this is where you will paste it. Source code is all that gobbledygook that they show you and they say copy this and throw it in your page. And this is actually where you're going to do it. Now a little web designer tip. If you can't get it to work in here for some reason, and I haven't ever seen it not work, okay, so don't take that the wrong way, but there's another way to do this. If you go over into here into text, you can actually hit the button that says code and then you can paste your code okay and then you hit end code and it will still show up you don't see anything here even when you put stuff in under source code you won't see it as well but if you hit this text tab you'll see it here now why do we put code in code well we start the code and end the code every code opens with these little dash these little um arrows here like this and it ends so it ends with an arrow to the left slash it means end in code. Now, if you're not a coder, you know, this is not the best way to do it. I would suggest, highly suggest, that you just use tools and source code if you're a beginner. If you can't get it to work, then try the other, but it's, I wouldn't worry about it, okay? Next section is on um, display settings. If you want it to work across all platforms, like mobile, iPads, all of that, you're going to be using what it says uh, size as an auto so that it will adjust. We call this a responsive form, web responsive, so that no matter what kind of device you're on, it will be responsive and it will adjust, okay? Targeting is the next section, and on, you can have a display on your entire site. So on every single page, you can show that, or you can, you know, maybe exclude the pop up on the home page, um, you know, your video, whatever your thing is. Um, or these settings. So if you want to um, put them on posts, you can choose specific posts or every single post, okay? On all posts, so you can so you, you choose all posts, it's going to show on all your blog posts, okay? Not your pages, just your posts. If you load it on specific posts, you can check mark the posts that you want it to appear on, okay? All right? And then you can just say this and add selected and then it comes down here, see? Okay. Now, if you want it on pages, you can choose a specific page. Okay, so you this is very, very targeted. Okay. Now the next thing is the open settings. When do you want your light box to open? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say open light box on exit, because when they go to click the X in the corner of the top of the page and exit, your pop-up's gonna go pop up and say, hey, guess what, look what I got, or pay attention to me. It's 
some people like them some people automatically close them so this is on exit but if you uncheck this box and you say after delay maybe you want them to see it you know 15 seconds after they have visited that one particular page and and show them whatever it is that you have to offer okay so the next thing that we're gonna look at here is all of these settings so you can choose this uh, when they try to exit the page that little pop-up will come up and it will say hey pay attention to me look what I have and that's what that is for um, if you want to have it appear after delay you can check this box here so by default when you first come in here this is what it looks like it says open on exit so when they go to exit the page a pop-up comes up says hey buddy pay attention okay pretty much um, if you uncheck this and you check this instead it'll by default after 500 ms which is milliseconds it'll pop up and say you know offer them that um, now let's look at these okay uh, if you want it to display only once then it's enabled and then after that they the same visitor won't see it for one month because it display it stores cookies unless they are a person that cleans out their cookies but I think it will remember their IP address okay um, then the other thing that you're going to want to look at too is uh, if you disable it this means they will visit it they will see that pop up every single time on whatever post or page or the entire site or whatever you've chosen up here okay so keep that in mind now what is this cookie key so let's cover this first of all let's cover the scenarios alright so if you have this so it it's enabled so they only see it once and then someone visits your blog tomorrow and every day for the next 28 or 29 or 30 days for the next month um, they won't see that light box again but if you regenerate your cookie key right here by hitting this little recycle button it's gonna give you a new key see that it changes every time that means when someone else comes tomorrow to your blog that same visitor that was there yesterday they will now see that new pop-up or they will see the pop-up again but then the next day for 30 days they won't see it makes sense now if you disable this the easy part is if it's disabled they're gonna see that pop-up every single time that they visit that page and you don't have to worry about cookies at all but I will tell you from a visitor standpoint and a web designers view that it's very important that you actually enable this um, simply because of the fact that and you can change this to uh, you know write it out you can change it out to you know five days so maybe you want them to see it once a week all right but you just have to write it in English and in this format as it's displayed below okay very very simple and easy and now we're gonna go into uh, section two here uh, so we'll just leave this like this so this is basically explaining what a light box is what it can do you know maybe you want to put a, a, a light box up that shows um, you know hey before you leave make sure you like my Facebook page or a video in a pop-up box okay that says hey you know welcome to my blog you know this is about me I want you to hear my story whatever it is that you want to bring their attention to maybe a photo album maybe you want to have a light box on a certain page that you know brings up a photo album okay so that might be something that you want to do as well and I will actually get into that advanced training uh, later on the in the week so just make sure that you follow these blog posts all about light boxes and we'll create a different one every single day so I will see you in the next training video and we're gonna work on how to put a get response form from your email marketing campaign into a light box so that it pops up and you can get new subscribers. So we'll go into that uh, right below here in the same blog post and this will be day one. So I'll see you in the next training video. My name is Teresa Kaiser from TKNetMarketing.com.